Okay, welcome to uh, Unit 2. This is for the drawing class. This is Drawing 1, Unit 2, and we're going to be talking about contour line. If you remember, in the last unit's demos, what we did in class was a lot of work on gesture drawing. So the first exercise we're going to be learning how to do is a blind contour drawing. And in a blind contour drawing, you have your hand in a position, right? And then you put it off to the side so you don't, so when you look at it, you're not looking at your paper. And then you only look at the lines that you find in your hand and you draw without looking back at your paper. That's what makes it blind. So how do you do that? Well, the way to do that, I, this is why I drew this little drawing here, is to visualize, kind of like imagine your eye, right, as having a center of vision. And imagine that center of vision is basically being like a little red dot, in this case that circle, right? And then you imagine it moving along the line, right? And when it gets to the spot where the, um, you know, where the watch is, right? That line has to go out, and then it has to go in again. Then it has to go around, right? And it has to just keep going. And you just go real slowly. Your line needs to be continuous. You just keep going. And the whole time, you're drawing, right, on the paper, but your eye is here. And you're just thinking that what the point of your pencil or your conte is doing is simply just following where your eye is corresponding on the outside contour as you're watching it. Now, but when you do a blind contour drawing, you should not just stick to the outside contour line. Right? You should be willing to explore a little bit. In this case, explore the interior. So that's some of these interior cross contour lines. And I'll get to a place where it gets kind of, kind of complicated, like right about here, okay? I'm on the interior in the palm, but then I'm going to come back to where I think the outside edge is and then continue on. Oh, look, I'm off compared to where the other drawing was. But that's all right. So I'm going on like that. Okay. Now, one of the things you might notice is that when I pulled into deep into interior territory, I lighten my lines. My lines don't have to be as dark as when they're on the outside contour. All right. So let's try it. I'm going to do another one over here on the side. I think I'm going to switch to Conte because it flows just a little bit better. Right, and I'm going to hold my hand in a kind of a position like that, right? Kind of a claw, something where the fingers overlap a little bit, but not like a tight fist. And I'm going to start with my eye one spot, and I'm going to start going. Now, when you do a blind contour drawing, it's important to really slow down. This is kind of interesting in a way. Because blind contour and gesture drawings in some ways get at the very same thing, which is getting your brain to stop thinking about the literal and to really just kind of pay attention to the abstract forms that you see. But they do it in very opposite ways. In a blind contour drawing, or and in some ways, any kind of contour drawing, but especially blind contour drawing, part of what you're doing is you're slowing down and you're concentrating on just one thing, just the line. We're not looking at any other aspect of this hand. We are, in fact, hoping to kind of forget that it's a hand entirely, right? And instead, we are just concentrating on the lines that I see, the outside contour line and the interior contour lines. I'm just following them. I'm going to get up. Oh, I got a little bit of room. I'm probably going to go off the page because I was off centered. About there, I'm going to just pull it in just in case. Now, like I said, you need to go real slow. So, a, a drawing of your hand like this should take, especially the first time you do it, should take about five minutes. I'm going a little bit fast, so that this whole thing is probably take, going to take about three minutes total when I'm done. I'm going a little bit fast because I have some experience and I know it's a little bit boring to watch someone draw super slowly. Um, but just keep in mind that you want to slow it down even further. It needs to be real slow, just slow way down, and don't worry about the end results. It's all about the process. If you follow the process, it will be a good drawing. 
It may not look much like your hand. It may not look much like a human hand. It may not look much like any kind of hand. But that doesn't matter. If you follow the process, if you look real carefully, the one thing it will look like is a good blind contour drawing because it will mean the drawing will show that your lines are real careful and specific and we're really paying attention. That's a good example. So here we have lots of kind of mistakes. Like let's say we lost the bottom of the finger right there or these two fingers get kind of mushed together. These are classic sort of blind contour mistakes, if you would call them mistakes. But fundamentally, this is a good solid blind contour drawing because the lines really show that all through the process I was looking very, very carefully and paying more attention to the line than I was to the idea of making sure it looks like a hand. You don't want to worry about it looking like a hand. You want it to be a very careful, thoughtful attention to the line and recording every little tiny bump as much as possible. And so one of the things that you learn when you do this over and over again is you learn that skill of thinking about the whole, not necessarily the whole hand, but like let's say this whole line from there to there in relation to these little tiny shifts, right? That as you're following that line and you're following a little tiny inward movement, you're still thinking about where it's going to get to the end. And you can do that all in your head, kind of imaginatively, without looking back at the paper. Okay, how much time do we have left? That was six and a half minutes. Okay. All right, I'm going to do... I'm going to start a little bit of a demo on a different kind of contour line drawing on the, on the shoe. Right? And on the shoe, what we're going to do is another kind of continuous contour line drawing. Right? Continuous meaning that I keep my, my pencil or my Conte on the paper. But it's not a blind contour drawing because I'm going to periodically just check my location and spot like right about now. Just check where I am, just to make sure that things are kind of lining up. And I don't know if anyone else calls it that, but in my class we tend to call continuous contra line drawings like that, where you periodically just check your page just for a second or two. So we call that a peaking contra line drawing, because literally you're drawing, you're not looking at your paper, you're not looking at your paper, and then periodically you peek. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm still there, I'm still in the right spot. Got about a minute left. Okay. And so a peaking contra line drawing is a good kind of in-between stage to learn how to start making very kind of crisp and accurate contra line drawings as well. All right, we'll finish this drawing in the next part. All right, thank you.